thing mostly to kind of figure out what's stopping me finding my man, why I haven't been able to find the man of my dreams yet. Before working with Katie, I felt so lost, but so lost that I didn't know that I was lost. Things felt like they were completely unachievable. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what I really wanted. I had an idea, but the things that I wanted were, I was never going to get them. However much I wanted them, I was never, ever going to get them. Um... And I knew that I had the answers in me, but I would never have been able to find them. Because I've had enough of doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different outcome. And, and I also didn't want to feel anymore that I was doing something wrong. I wanted to actually kind of move on for all of that in a positive way. Well, to be honest, um, I really didn't think there were any problems i mean i was more interested in manifesting my perfect man um having been single for about how long was it then about four years since a big breakup um to explore a bit more into why i've had a number of relationships that have gone wrong um to get some sort of insight into that and to then go on and meet the right man. No, I had never done any kind of therapy, any kind of inner work. Um, I've always been a quite a um, intuitive person, but I'd never actually asked for the help of anyone externally. I'd always kind of tried to face it alone and do everything by myself. So. I had been to counselling or to therapy. I'd read loads of books, I had listened to loads of podcasts, but nothing that helped me to look forwards. There was a lot of looking back um, and there was a lot of you should do it like this and this is what's worked for me, but nothing that was really true to myself. Working with Katie has just transformed my life. Katie, I can't even put into words the results. I mean, she absolutely transformed my life. I mean, but life now makes sense more than it ever has done before. I'm a lot clearer about what I want. Um, I'm a lot more responsive, so I'm so much more patient um, than ever. I, I don't know, I feel like I can now take my own path in life and I don't need anyone else's approval for that. I mean, I feel like a different person. It's really, really transformed me completely from the inside. I'm so much more confident in myself. Um, I feel like some of the issues that I had have now been laid to rest and that I'm happier in setting boundaries because that was something that I couldn't do in the past. So I feel a lot more confident, full stop, not only about finding the right guy, but just more confident in myself. So, you know, it's been a double whammy for me. I've got more than my money's worth. <laughs> I know that what I want is going to come to me. I know that I can achieve so much, probably more than I realise that I can, which is super duper exciting. I've got the confidence to do that. I've got so much more understanding about myself to be able to do that as well. And I, I said, life is just so exciting. Life has opened its doors up to me like I could never have imagined. Yes, yeah. My most powerful experience for me was that going right back to when I was five. That was very powerful. So doing that inner child work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's like, the, was one of the hardest bit for me is, is, is yeah, going back and realizing things or beliefs that you've, you've had for, for such a long time and kind of trying to figure out where they came from. And yeah, it brings up a lot of painful, 
emotions, but as Lizzie said, the great bit about it is we could then chuck them into the, burn them and chuck them into the sea, which is very... <laughs> Scatter the ashes. Yeah. Yeah. Of your old self. I was really taking the time to get to know myself. I mean, we're always so busy, aren't we, in our day-to-day -day lives. It's just something that's such a privilege that not many people do. And I mean, I'm not going to say that it was easy. It was quite tough at places and it was quite difficult to kind of face those issues. But I feel so much stronger now for doing it. So. It was chucking, chucking all those bad beliefs away. Burning them. Throwing them away, <laughs> burning them, chucking them off see. bad beliefs. Um, that felt great. Mm. I think that I feel braver. Um, I'm not so scared now to do that kind of inner work, the shadow work. Perhaps before I put it off and put off facing those deep, deep um, traumas and darker kind of feelings. Just because realizing my potential, she's kind of weaned it out of me, um, but realizing it myself. It's been every emotion. It's been um, kind of you know really delving a bit deeper, getting to some core reasons why, why you're getting frustrated and not just um, you know allowing your head to rerun on the same story again and again and again. Yeah, it's so, like identifying those yeah. stories, yeah. realising those stories that you didn't even realise you, you know, existed. Yeah. Real, yeah, realising them, identifying them and then trying to trying to change them, trying to get rid of them, trying to put new beliefs in their place. Or well, knowing that those stories existed, perhaps, but not actually realising that they were maybe a barrier to meeting the right guy. Yeah, because maybe totally and, unrelated. Yeah. Things that I thought were totally unrelated to yeah. love yeah. and a guy. I have learnt to slow down, and that is just being totally inspired by the way that she lives her life and what she's managed to achieve. I do feel that I am better equipped now for a relationship because it's the, the age old, you know, saying that you need to be complete yourself. You need to know yourself and be complete yourself to, to have a, a, a relationship that works. So. a really safe, comforting, nurturing um, commu community within the group. Yeah, I think that what you just said, Jane, about being in a very safe environment, like just able to talk about embarrassing things or yeah. fears that you think sound silly um, or, yeah, too embarrassed to kind of talk about normally. It's mm -hmm. been a great... Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and she's so patient and she's not judgmental whatsoever. Um, and she gives you such a safe and positive space for you to open up. And it's obviously lovely working with all the other women who are facing similar issues. For anyone who's thinking of working with Katie, please do it it will be the best time and money spent you have no idea how much you know how life-changing it is and how it has totally totally changed my life self you know we take so much time looking after others as a mother you know someone else is always at the forefront of my mind and my day so you know I made sure that I had that time to dedicate for this so I spent all of the extra time where we had homework to do and writing journaling and the the conversations that we had in our sessions you, you know I didn't miss any of those because I really really wanted to make sure that if I did it I did it properly and I felt so wonderful taking the time doing these things for myself which as I said is quite a privilege in our busy world today
two <laughs> completely opposing feelings. So excited and petrified at the same time. Yeah. Got no more excuses now. Right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very excited and positive that the right guy will come along. Yeah. I feel so much stronger. I feel so... I, it, it was really helpful for me, actually, to kind of really identify what I'm looking for because I've never done that before, um, apart from the tall, good look at, you know, I've never really identified what my desires are around a guy. Um, so that was a very powerful process for me. Um, and I feel a lot stronger and a lot clearer and a lot happier and a lot more... Like I know more about how to be in my power and how to cultivate my feminine. Yeah. Um, there are so many examples over the last couple of months that have completely taken my breath away I'm speechless about them at the moment completely taken my breath away because I didn't think those things were possible and they have arrived on my doorstep hopeful you know I know that it will happen it's a, a knowing rather than a hoping I think um, but yeah I feel like I'm much better now better equipped for that day when it comes Love you. Love Thank you, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>